everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manning, and it is tax time once again this year. And uh, for me, it's actually tax time every day of the year. I'm an independent contractor, all 1099s, I pay taxes in every city, state, and just about every country in the world. And just a small example of the forms that I need to mail out. My accountant, David, who's really cool and organized, gets his stuff out to me early. And uh, here it is, I will be apparently uh, writing out a lot of checks this year. So it's part of the business, part of what I do, and that's fine. But one thing I can control is organizing my receipts, organizing my write-offs, making sure everything's categorized and do stuff like that. When I'm home, I use the Fujitsu Scan Snap. And this isn't a commercial for that. I'm just saying I use this because this scans not only receipts, but all my documents, such as the documents I hear here on copies. I back them up, take them off site. I'm very OCD about this stuff. I don't want anything unorganized or non-accessible. But when I'm on the road, I found out uh, that it's kind of difficult to keep the receipts. I always kind of throw them out. I do have credit card statements, but sometimes I pay cash. There's always the instances where some write-offs may fall through the cracks. But... Since I have this, the iPhone, the, in the app store behind me, there's different kind of finance applications that can log my expenses. Now, this one I'm gonna review is not the most popular one in the category, uh, but it has customized categories because most of my write-offs are kind of odd, like gym, tanning, supplements, stuff like that, that aren't included in categories or subcategories with other uh, applications. And this one I'm gonna try out is Expense Tracker. And that starts with an X, Expense Tracker, and it's on sale right now for $7.99, which might be a little high for most people, but enables me to take photo receipts. And now the IRS, from what I heard, accepts photo receipts as real receipts. So that's pretty cool. And I can also add it to receipt wallet. I'm gonna try at least. Uh, but let's just uh, take a look at it and take a little tour and test it out. And I'm gonna use the iClarify, not the iClarify, I'm sorry, the Griffin Clarify. Uh, because it will be able to give me a higher resolution photo of the receipt, so it comes in handy on that. So let's give it a try. Okay, here we, here we are on the home screen. We're gonna open up Expense Tracker for the iPhone. And I already have a log in here for a business log for a trip I'm taking. And you can also create a new log if you want. You can email the log. Let me try that real quick. Kind of going backwards all that I can email to the email I have set up there's also preferences defaults or groups I'm going to make it business because that's what I'm going to use it for currency US dollars email settings and pre-fill start odometer you can put miles or kilometers obviously there's a cool thing you can I'm going to take that off because I don't really have a client, but our merchants have receipts and I like notes to give more details on my receipts. And also the mileage allowance uh, is pretty cool too for business miles. Let's hit that. Oh, you can set it yourself if it changes. That's cool. So if I, get, I know what the mileage allowance is from the government, I can set that and I will save that. Now I'm going to go into the log here I already have and I'm going to do a new expense. As you can see here, it's it's not for today. Oops, wrong one. It is for tomorrow. So I can set it there, and that will change the date. I do have the receipt. I'm going to be paying cash. Uh, here's an interesting thing. This is why I bought the uh, expense tracker app. You can edit categories. So say I have a category here. I want to add the category. The name, let's just say uh, tanning which is an unusual write-off, but I'm allowed to write it off. Tanning. And you can take off other ones too. Let's see where it's at. Oh, it's not there. Hmm. Oh, down there. Okay, cool. I don't, it's not in alphabetical order, I guess. If you create a category, it goes straight to the bottom. Okay, so go back here and have receipt yes i have a photo receipt i'm going to take a camera with a high res photo and i'm going to use the clarify just like that and i'm going to try to take a good picture here if i can let's just see i'll just get the amount see how that turns out i was shaking a little bit but it still turned out pretty well and the fact that you can 
have the receipt to email back to yourself is a pretty good feature. And there it is. And I can save it. And it's uncategorized. Let's go back in there. I thought I categorized it. That is cash. As you can see, you can pretty much uh, customize this any way you want. Let's see if there's a closed one. That would be pretty cool. Just put other. Save it. And there you go. I didn't put the amount in, so I forgot to do that. Let me put that in right now. Somewhere. US dollars. Hit that. And then hit that. And it'll be 52, 70, 5. Save it. And you see I have a mileage thing there too. But there it is. Pretty cool. Let me go back in real quick and go there. Do mileage. Oops. There we go. That's pretty cool too. You make a business, medical, charity, or other. And it comes up with the allowance or whatever you pre-programmed it in for. But that's it. That's um, Expense Tracker. It's on sale right now, $7.99 in the App Store. For everybody here at the T4 Show, this is Michael Manna. Thank you and best of luck in all your future endeavors. <laughs>